Okay, so we're gonna portray Quirk and get 9 BP. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. What did you choose, Sigma? You didn't see me push the button? No. Huh. Well, you'll know in a moment. What you want to do after that is up to you. You can come with me if you want, or you can stay here. Your choice. That's as good as saying you chose Betray. <laughs> I grinned and headed toward the display. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. What did you do, Clover? Oh, sorry, it wasn't me. Sigma, huh? Yeah. Care to explain this then? What's there to explain? It's exactly what it looks like. I'm getting out of here. What? Are you going with him, Clover? I... I... When they all turned to look at Clover, I made my move. My feet pounded across the metal floor of the warehouse as I ran for the number nine door. He'd have to do better than shout if he wanted to stop me. It was closer. I was almost there. I took one last running leap and slammed into the wall, the unlocking device right in front of me. With a yell of triumph, I threw the lever down. The door began to open. A heavy metallic grinding noise filled the room. Shit. That son of a bitch actually did it? His voice sounded almost surprised. I turned to face him. Sorry. But it looks like this is goodbye. Sigma. Don't worry. I'll go to the police as soon as I get out and get out and come back with help. I'm not going to just leave you all here to die. Don't give me that shit. I know a liar when I see one. Really? Maybe you should get your eyes checked. Are you guys just gonna let him run off like this? No way. I can't allow that. He took advantage of a sick kid. He's just a coward. Agreed. I also agree. That's it then. Let's get him. Ready? Yeah. He's toast. Just leave it to us. Hey now, don't do anything you'll regret. This door only opens once, you know. If you stop me, then... Give it up. Charge! Shit. I spun back around to face the door. There it was, right in front of me. Freedom. I leaped for it. Or at least I tried. It happened in the blink of an eye. Suddenly, my cheek was being pressed against the cold steel floor of the warehouse.
The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. Shit! Let me go! Let go of me, goddammit! I could feel something huge, heavy, and metal pressing against my back. Kay had to be holding me down. I flailed and kicked, but it didn't do any good. What are you doing? You're just killing yourselves! The door only opens once. If I don't... I know. Go, Clover. Huh? You're the only one of us with 9 BP. Nobody else can get out. But... This is an order from your commanding officer. You are to escape from this facility. Once you've accomplished that, call for help. That's... Stop complaining and go. If that door closes, it's all over. None of us will get out of here alive. Leave! The door had already begun to close. The space was narrowing quickly, but was still wide enough for a single person to make it through. Fine. You didn't leave me much choice. I couldn't see what had happened, but I heard enough to guess. Alice had shoved Clover through the door. Looking up, I could see Clover's feet just beyond the doorway. Shitty thing to do, let her leave, but not me. <sighs> oh well. Oh, I see. I see. I get it now. You're all in on it, aren't you? It wasn't just one killer. It was six. No wonder you're so anxious to say this wasn't a murder. Clover, please just settle down. <laughs> Fine. Show me some proof then. Prove to me in 10 seconds that you didn't murder my friend, or I'm going to kill every last one of you bastards! You're all going to die just like she did! Hey, hold on a minute. Nine, eight, seven, Clover, six, five, four, Clover, three, two, one! Those infected by Radical Six eventually develop a powerful urge to commit suicide. Suddenly, Clover moved. I leaped forward and clamped my hand around her wrist. What are you doing? Clover, listen to me. Alice wasn't killed. Nobody murdered her. She... she took her own life. It's true. She stabbed herself in the heart with the scalpel. All right. Where'd she get the scalpel then? Well, um, I did hear someone come into the infirmary right after the AB game ended. Was that before I showed up? Yes. I got up to see who it was, but they were already gone. It could have been Alice. So she could have taken the scalpel then. Yes, I think so. You're lying! This is all a lie! It has to be! It 
It's not. It's the truth. Why did she do it? Why would Alice kill herself? She... She probably didn't have a reason. What? She'd been infected with Radical Six. That's what killed her. Just said she killed herself. Just tell me the truth. I am. Your ten seconds ran out a long time ago. So if you don't have any proof... I do. I have proof. There was a journal in the lab, wasn't there, Kay? Show it to me. Journal? It would have been in the safe. Well, Alice would have it then. Fi, can you? I don't feel right touching a dead woman's body. Could you take a look? Sure. Her hands barely shook as she quickly searched through Alice's clothing. It wasn't very much clothing, so it didn't take long. It was only seconds before she stopped. Slowly and carefully, she drew something out. There it was. The journal. Phi turned to hand it to me, but I shook my head. You read, you read it. It's in Latin. I can't make heads or tails of it. She cocked an eyebrow at me and flipped the small book open. When she looked back up at me, it was with both suspicion and surprise. Yeah, it is Latin. But translating this is impossible. It's full of words I've never heard before. I can barely understand any of this. Page 216. Huh? Turn to page 216. You should be able to read that one. Fi's frown deepened, but she did as I had suggested. I watched her eyes quickly scan the page before looking up at me with renewed suspicion. Yeah, I can read this page. How did you know? No, wait. How did you even know there was a journal in the lab? I just knew. You just knew. Come on. Look, just read it, okay? Clover wants to hear what it has to say. Right? Yeah. Right. Give me a moment to look it over. After a few moments of whispering to herself in Latin, Phi began to translate, paraphrasing the contents of the journal. Radical six reduces the processing speed of the brain by a factor of the root of one-sixth. One of the symptoms of radical six infection is an overwhelming urge to commit suicide. Research has shown that it would probably respond to the right sort of antiviral medication, but no one has been able to develop one yet. Nearby towns are filled with the corpses of people who took their own lives. The uninfected have only barely managed to survive and have been sent into underground shelters supervised by the government. Oh Lord, please, let their future be a bright one. Phi shut the journal with a soft slap. A sickly silence drifted through the room. The newspaper article, the recording, the conversation with Ten Myoji, and now this journal entry. There was no more hiding from the truth. The pandemic had already happened. All of Clover's rage suddenly dissipated, and she collapsed to the floor, tears pouring down her face. None of us had the heart to say anything, and for several long moments the only sound in the room was Clover's sobs. Um, we've got a problem. It's almost time for the primary doors to open. Yeah, only ten minutes left. Sorry, but I'll be taking Alice's bracelet. Fi and I won't be able to open the secondary door without it. So she was a magenta pair, just like me. You just now noticed that, did you? As he spoke, Dio grabbed the bracelet off the floor and dropped it into his pocket. What color is your bracelet, Luna? 
I'm a cyan pear. You are part of Clover's pear, then. That means the two of you will need to come with me. I guess so. Come on now, Clover. We need to go. Alice would want you to survive, wouldn't she? You'll never be able to figure out why all this happened if you stay here. Please. You're right. Alice, I promise I'll find out what happened to you. I'll figure out who Zero really is. I mean, if you've never been locked up in here, you never would have... This never would have happened. So... So it's like Zero killed you. I... I promise. I'll avenge you. Clover stood up and rubbed her hands roughly over her eyes, smearing tears across her cheeks. Then, with a determined frown, she strode out of the room. All right, we're out of time. Move, people. You guys head on down to the Floor B warehouse. We'll catch up with you later. <laughs> oh, right. Quark's got the yellow bracelet, which makes him your partner, right? Yeah. Can't exactly leave him behind. Without him, we'd end up stuck in the AB room. Okay, let's go. We'll see the rest of you once we've picked up Quark. Very well. Until we meet again. Quark, you're awake. Yeah, I just woke up. Hey, where is everybody else? Oh God, Quark. Tanmyoji's entire body shook with emotion as he drew closer to him. He cautiously laid a trembling hand on the boy's shoulder, almost as if he were afraid Quark would disappear in a puff of smoke the moment he was touched. When Quark proved to indeed be corporal, Tenmyoji let out a cry and threw his arms around him. What's wrong? Are you okay, Grandpa? It, it's nothing. Nothing's wrong. I'm... I'm fine. But... Quirk gave him a puzzled look. Tenmyoji didn't even notice. His face was a mixture of happiness and relief, and I could see tears twinkling from the wrinkled corners of his eyes. All traces of his usual gruff stoicism had vanished. I didn't want to interrupt such a happy reunion, but we were running out of time. Still, Tenmyoji deserved a few minutes. I left them alone. At last, Tenmyoji seemed to recover, and shifted from an embrace to a protective arm around the shoulder. So, how are you feeling? Feeling? Well, okay, I guess. Was I sick or something? No, no. You're not sick. If you feel fine, then you're fine. Huh? I'm sorry. I should never have gotten you involved in all this. What are you apologizing for? I'm sorry. You're doing it again. Are you sure you're okay? So, where's everybody else? Mr. Sigma's here, but... He's just been standing there looking kind of silly. I gave him a nervous smile and explained about the white doors. I got the feeling Tenmyoji didn't want Quirk to know about Radical Six, so I avoided any mention of it. Alice's death was something I also left for later. Okay, that makes sense. That means I'm on a team with you guys, right? Right. So, um... These white doors, when are they going to open? Well, we've got about four minutes until the primary doors open. Oh, that's not good. We need to hurry. Come on. How do we get to the 4B warehouse? Okay, okay, we're going. Follow me.
Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. You're late. Where the hell have you been? Quark? You're awake! And fully recovered, apparently. I am also relieved to see you well again. Me too. Well, wait a minute. What are you talking about? I looked out at the others from behind Cork and held a warning finger up to my lips. There were a few momentarily raised eyebrows and some nervous coughing as everyone suddenly fell silent. Huh? From Cork's perspective, it must have seemed especially odd. Uh, um, anyway, there isn't any time left. We need to hurry. But there are three doors. Which team goes in which door? All of the doors are identical for this round. I believe it doesn't matter which team uses which door. Then we're taking the one in the middle. Why that one? You want a kill shot, you aim for the center. You're more likely to just miss the extremities. That logic is flawed and more than slightly disturbing. Unfortunately, I don't really have a counter argument, so center door it is. I suppose we could go with the one on the left. Is that okay? I mean, we could go with the other one if you want. Kay and Clover only nodded. Well, there's only one left. The door on the right. Any objections? Alright, let's move. 30 seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Hurry it up, Fi. This thing's gonna close. I know. It's time we were going as well. Right. Sure. Come on, guys. There's no time to waste. Right behind you. Let's go. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic doors closing. What's this place? Probably the office of whoever it is that's running this place. It said director's office on the door. So this might be Zero Senior's maybe. office. Or maybe not. Well, which is it? Why the hell would I know? We should look around. If this really is Zero Senior's room, there might be some clues. Yeah, you got a point. Let's get started then. <laughs> <laughs> 